Uranus was discovered by Sir William Herschel in 1781 and was originally named George Sidus or George's Star after King George III. A German astronomer named Johann Bode changed its name to Uranus and is the only planet named after a Greek god. Its atmosphere is made up of hydrogen, helium, methane, and ammonia ice that hides storms underneath and surrounds a small core made up of rock and possibly ice. The methane ice clouds absorb the red light from the sun and reflect the blue light back into space, making the planet appear blue. It has four times the diameter of Earth, 64 times the volume, and more than 14 times the mass of our planet. At its closest, Uranus is 2.74 billion kilometers from Earth, and at its farthest, it's 3 billion kilometers away. If we shine a light towards Uranus, it would take two and a half hours to reach the planet when the planet is closest to us. It takes 17 hours and 14 Earth minutes for the planet to rotate on its axis and around 84 Earth years to make one trip around the Sun. Since Uranus was discovered in 1781, astronomers have only observed it for only two complete trips around the Sun. As it orbits around the Sun, it lies on its side at 98 degrees along its orbital path, almost as if it's rolling, instead of spinning. No other planet in our solar system is tilted for more than 30 degrees off its axis. Earth is tilted for 23 degrees, Jupiter at 3 degrees, and Saturn at 29 degrees. This tilt is responsible for extreme seasons because, for 21 years at a time, one hemisphere is facing the sun and is exposed to constant sunlight, while the other gets 21 years of constant darkness. It is the coldest planet in our solar system with a minimum temperature of negative 224 degrees Celsius. This is because Uranus gives off less heat than it absorbs from the Sun. Astronomers once assumed that a single giant impact with a planet-sized object may have collided with Uranus a long time ago, flipping it to its new axis. But there are a few problems with this scenario. The moons are also tilted at 98 degrees like the planet. The impact would have destroyed the rings and it would have resulted the planet and its moons to rotate backwards, like Venus. This means that not one but at least two smaller collisions occurred during the planet's formation while it was still surrounded by the disk of gas and dust that its moons formed from. It has 27 known moons and many of them are named after Shakespearean characters. The five major moons are Miranda, which is the smallest, Ariel, which is the brightest, Umbriel, which is the darkest and heavily cratered, Titania, and Oberon, which are the largest. The moons follow the tilt of the planet and from Earth, they appear to orbit the planet from top to bottom. Uranus has two sets of very thin dark colored rings, consisting of 11 inner rings and two outer rings. Together, the rings extend out from 12,400 to 25,600 kilometers from the planet. Unlike Saturn, the rings are very narrow and widely spread apart that it has more gaps than it has rings. The rings probably formed when one or more of the moons were broken on impact and are made of dust particles and charcoal dark pieces of carbon-rich materials measuring from a few inches to a few yards across. These are not very reflective materials, making the rings not as bright as Saturn's. The rings weren't discovered until 1977 when the planet passed in front of a star, blocking the star's light. In 1986, the Voyager 2 spacecraft flew by Uranus, returning the first close-up images of the planet, its moons, and its rings. And in 2011, the New Horizons spacecraft passed Uranus on its way to Pluto, becoming the first spacecraft to journey beyond planet's orbit since Voyager 2. Out of all the planets in our solar system, 
Uranus is the best planet to stay aloud. Uranus or Uranus are both right. But hey, if its name wasn't changed, we would be stuck calling it Georgia Star. And how boring would that be? Thanks for watching and keep looking up.